Nona Peltier is here without fail in the Christchurch studio to join us for the business news. We're going to do something a bit different and start with the markets. Yes, I think we probably should because we're going to be crossing potentially right in the middle of this. Mm -hmm. So we'll just get through whatever we have today in business. And it's been an interesting day. It was actually business as usual in the markets. Uh, people were active. The volumes were normal for a Monday. And we ended up 42 points to uh, a record close of 9,515. That's an increase of 0.4% mm. this day. And our dollar is trading at a steady level at 68.6 US cents, 96.5 Australian. We've been there for a while and 51.6 pence. And so that's a lot of the reason there is because there's some expectations that the US Federal Reserve are going to hold interest rates. We've got a lot of news coming up this week. Uh, the dairy sector, big day on Wednesday. We also have uh, the e economic numbers coming out. Mm. And we had some additional information uh, today uh, feeding into that. Right. Now, the uh, service sector, we had a bit of a boost earlier in the year, but now you're that's saying right. that that's slowed down. What's going on there? Yeah, so early in the year was a big surprise. The service sector grew at, at, a, at a quite a, a sharp pace, and people thought, wow, what is this going to mean? But it's come back quite a bit, and uh, so this is more to what we would say long-term averages, just slightly below, but still expanding. Now, sales um, dropped back, but orders were still very strong, so we are still looking like... a uh, an economy that's growing at about a rate of 2.5 percent. We're going to learn more about that later in the week when we have the economic numbers. Right. And what else uh, you got there? Well, I've got one more thing, and we have time. <laughs> <laughs> we do. So we've got uh, Metro Performance Glass. That's a company that pr produces, uh, is, a, is a manufacturer of glass products. And they sell not just into the New Zealand market, but also in Australia. The Australian market is causing them some concern. There's been a slowdown there in the housing and um, multi-family dwelling type uh, apartment buildings and you name it. They're saying that they're worried about it and it's going to affect their bottom line somewhat in their uh, financial year which is ending on March 31st. Mm. So it remains to be seen what happens there. Uh, that's one thing that they're going to keep a close on. It's a wild card. We've seen this across, uh, you know, Fletcher Building is the same. We've had that from those sectors in, in New Zealand that have exposure to the Australian market. Great. Thank you very much, Nona. Nona Peltier there with the latest in the business news.